Hello and welcome to another gripping tale of quintessentials! So about two years ago I bought my desktop, you know, brand new thing. It's been many years since I had any kind of computer that was remotely new. I opted not to buy the graphics card because I ordered it straight from HP and it was like giving me options to do graphics cards. But I was like, I'm pretty dang sure I can find, you know, the, the same level of graphics card or better for cheaper. Didn't know it at the time, but apparently HP now does proprietary stuff. You know, a typical standard mo uh, motherboard. It's gonna have a 24 pin connector. You'd plug this into the motherboard. Sometimes it has an extra four pin connector. So these two would go into the motherboard. And there you go. Well, HP, <laughs> that part of it is proprietary. As you can see, yeah, my power supply has actually not a whole giant group of cables coming out. That is nice. They probably did this just to kind of clean it up and make it look neater. What's different about this is um, power goes to the motherboard and plugs in there. But instead of the hard drives getting their powers directly from the power supply, they get it from the motherboard, which is what that one is there right above it. Definitely not a 24 pin connector. They don't have the 24 pin connector for their motherboards. They have something that's a lot smaller and I kind of like the smaller form factor, but it does not make it compatible with anything else. Most power supplies have this connector. I didn't really care about it until I tried buying another graphics card. But when I wanted to buy a graphics card, I'm realizing that a lot of the higher end ones require some sort of external power. They, they can't power themselves off the PCI Express slot that comes from the motherboard they're plugged into. Instead, they need a cable uh, that has, you know, either a, a, a six, a eight pin connector or a, a six pin that comes straight from the power supply. And that's how they get all the power they need. Uh, my power supply did not have that in my HP. And looking at power supplies, I could find plenty that had the 24 pin connector, but that wouldn't work for my motherboard. So what turned into just wanting to buy a graphics card turned into I'd have to buy a graphics card, a power supply, and a whole new motherboard to go with it. <laughs> and, and making sure that that motherboard works with the Intel processor that I have in my computer. It was really damn frustrating, I'll tell you that. And I probably won't buy HP because of that. Dun, dun, dun. Every computer I bought since 2006 been in HP. And that just did it for me. Um, until the other day when I found this little cable. Um, on the one end is a SATA power cable. It's uh, a Mel, so it should plug into the female SATA power cable that comes from, you know, a power supply on almost every computer nowadays. And the other end is this little eight pin graphics card connector. Or if you have a six pin power port on your card, you can just do that and you got a six pin. And I'm like, does this really work? It was a $4 cable. Um, it could save me a few hundred dollars though if I if it actually works. And I'm like I am a little sketchy to just jam that in there and expect it to work. Uh, you know what kind of power is going through the SATA? What kind of power does the graphics card take? And I'm like, okay. but a, a little research online shows that the SATA power has a uh, you know 15 pins on it. I also noticed you know looking at uh, this power supply that I have with some SATA connectors, there's only five different wires and the wires you know has five wires go to 15 pins um, but they all several pins share the same voltage there's 3 volt like 3.3 5 volt and 12 volt that this whole thing carries that actually makes sense because this same cable can supply power for not only the two and a half inch laptop drives which I know take 5 volts because you can run those off of a 5 volt USB port but it can supply power to the 12 volt uh, hard drives that are you know bigger three and a half inch desktop hard drives. I'm not entirely sure what 3.3 volts like what runs on that maybe a It's gonna say floppy, but I don't think I've ever seen a floppy disk drive <laughs> with a SATA Interface that'd be very interesting, uh, but you know, there's 3.3 in there just for the hell of it. So Okay, does the graphics card use 12 volts or 5? Like I must use one of them so it utilizes one of those voltages to give you the power for that graphics card does it have enough amperage does you know pulling that much juice for these little pins really gonna matter some charts I find online uh, suggest that uh, there's several pins that share the same voltage and it could probably pull amps across like you know three pins instead of just one so it Ta -da. here's my second HP computer too much crap on my desk it does not have its stock 
power supply in there because I got this cheap little EVGA GeForce GTX 650. And uh, it required the six pin power connector. I did find a very cheap power supply that had a graphics card six pin cable on it. Uh, it also it became more useful in this computer when I got this graphics card. So not the best graphics card, but it, you know, considering the now seven year old GPU that's built into this motherboard, this is a step up. So I'm thinking if I just, uh, you know, unplug this, turn the computer on. Quint, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm gonna switch my multimeter to voltage, uh, DC, and we're just gonna see what we can find. On one side we have three yellow cables. There's like, a, you know, a two by six grid. And one side is yellow cables, the other side's black. I'm gonna assume the black ones are negative. And okay, we got 12.1 volts there. Another 12.1. Another 12.1. Zero and zero. Okay, so it looks like I'm guessing it just has yeah the black ones are a ground or a negative, and the other ones are 12 volts, positive 12 volts. Basically, just uh, gets its power from several wires. I'm not sure exactly why. If you know why, feel free to comment. This cable must utilize a 12 volt power rail that goes inside here and just omits the 5 and 3.3. So it seems like it would work definitely on a card with a 6 pin and that's all I'll be testing today because that's the only type of graphics card I have. Alright. Feel free to shut down. Turn the switch off on the power supply. Yank the power quick cable. Uh, press and hold the power button for a second. That will kind of discharge any residual power in the system. So yes, my power supply on this computer has a six pin thing, but um, for testing purposes, looks like I'll have to, I'll give up uh, the second hard drive in this thing. I'll disconnect that one completely. And then plug in our little adapter here. Like so. Pull this off so it's the six pin connector. And we'll just plug it into that card there. All right, we'll plug it back in. Flip the switch on the back, press our power button. The monitor's plugged directly into the graphics card. So if it is getting enough power, it should work. Oh, look at that. <laughs> we have power. Shut it down. Probably should have tested the voltage before. Um, this is a much more expendable computer. 12.1. 12.1. 1. What about this last one? Zero. Makes sense because that's just ground. It's like it just has more ground connectors. I don't... I suppose. Yeah, same 12.1 that we get from this connector. These connectors are, they have the same voltage basically. Like maybe the different colors of the mean different voltages. That makes a lot of sense actually because there's three different colors here out of the five. You got like a, the yellow's probably 12, maybe the red's five, and then the orange is 3.3. .3. So quite potentially a $4 fix to a few hundred dollar problem. Instead of having to buy a new motherboard and a new power supply, um, if I just want to give up one of the hard drives in my main desktop, I can do that. Um, with this little cable thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video feel free to give it a like if you have anything to comment or add to what i've learned and talked about in this video feel free to do so uh we're all learning here <laughs> anyway um thanks again for watching i will see you in the next one